this video I'll show you how to triple boot your Mac uh, using so triple boot it between Windows, Windows 7, 74 bits, uh, Ubuntu, 74 bits, and obviously Mac OS. Uh, first of all, to start you'll have to install an UFI. The EFI is like a BIOS for the Mac OS. So you'll have to install refit BIOS. The most recent version is 0 0.14 and it's on the description. You just have to run the install package that comes in the DMJ to download. Just install everything and you have to reboot twice before the, your settings actually take effect. So once you did it, uh, the next step is to partition the whole thing. And here the idea is to have a partition for macOS, a partition for Ubuntu, a partition for Windows and a shared partition that can be read and written by all those three operating systems at once. So we will be creating a shared partition that will be formatted uh, as an NTFS or XFAT partition because it's the only file system that all those three operating systems can read and write. Okay, so uh, you'll need to open Disk Utility. The Disk Utility will show you your Macintosh hard drive. That's probably like a whole partition. And well, any hard drive has a limit of four primary partitions. Although there's only one partition list here, there is actually two primary partitions already existent because one of them is the bootloader partition in which your refit is installed. So you still have right to like two extra primary partitions. So what we will do is create this shared partition as a primary partition and also the Windows partition as a primary partition because it's the only two partition primary partitions that we can still create. After that, all partitions that you will create will be logical extended partitions. And Ubuntu, that's that's a good thing actually because your Ubuntu can be booted from a extended partition. You have to start off by creating the Linux swap partition. So just take here right on top Linux swap or just swap. And I'll format it as MS-DOS uh, file system FAT and since I have 8 gigs of RAM I'll actually create a 12 gig swept area. Um, afterwards I'll just partition I'll reduce like another partition that will be for my Ubuntu so I'll just write to Linux here. I'll also format it as FAT and reduce it and I'll probably make it like 55 gigs. My other one will be my Windows partition and this one will be created as a primary partition. Also fat and I'll make it 65 gigs. It's like random you can the size you actually want to. And last one, I'll create a shared partition file system so that all OS can write and read to it. This will be called shared. And I'll also format it as FAT. The reason I'm formatting everything as FAT is because Afterwards, when I'm installing Windows and Ubuntu, they can detect those partitions and they can reformat it as a, as I see fit. So you don't have to worry it worry with it right now. So uh, I'll put 20 gigs and there you go. I'm just reduce it a little bit here. Okay. So now I have I created all the partitions. Click apply and partition. So 
there it is. We have all our partitions already created. Our EFI, our refit, is already installed. And our EFI will actually allow us to choose between different operating systems when you boot up. So I have my Windows installation disk already inside. It shows up here. And I'll reboot my computer. When it boots up, the refit window starts, the refit loader starts, and it allows me to choose between my Mac OS installation that's already on my hard drive and my Windows CD. And also there's some extra functions like a shell of the EFI, a partitioning tool, some abouts, and I can restart and shut down the computer. So I'll pick my Windows CD. So, Windows will start loading files, and once it's done, I'll just cut this part of the video. So, the Windows installation is, is started, and actually, we start off by installing Windows because Ubuntu is like the, the master boot record of Windows will be afterwards rewritten by the grub loader of Ubuntu, so Ubuntu is actually prepared to be installed in the computer that already has Windows so it's easier to go in there uh, so yeah English but I'm actually from Brazil so I just read Portuguese and there you go install now so I'll install the 64-bit version there you go I accept it and select custom and there you go you see that your partitions are here there's this 200 megabyte partition that's from our refit bootloader. This first partition here that's from the Mac OS. There's some random un unallocated space, your shared and your windows. You see that the, uh, the Ubuntu and the, the swap partition don't show up here in install, but don't worry, we'll fix this later. Just pick the Windows partition that we created go to drive options format okay and shoot it so uh... the installation started and i'll actually cut this part of the video but as the Windows installation actually reboots the computer a few times so you have to babysit the computer through the process and every time the computer restarts you go into you use the refit loader to load the installation you'll see so I needed to reboot the computer during the installation so my first reboot it already shows up the Windows CD right here my Mac OS and this new icon that's a Windows icon with the hard drive beneath it you just select it and press enter so there we have our Windows running up and running uh, you notice that the resolution is awful but that's only because I didn't install the, the drivers yet the drivers you need You'll find everything in DC in this CD, uh, your MacBook Pro, not application one, sorry, and this one, the macOS install DVD. Have Windows up and running. If you want to install the drivers yet, you just open the Explorer window. Go to your CD-ROM, click on it, click on it, and there's an option eject on top of the window, so just click eject, and you'll get to eject your CD, because if you try, the eject button won't work at first, so this allows you to remove your CD, but I want to install the drivers now. If you want to, just put the CD in and launch the setup, it's pretty much straightforward. 
Next thing I'll do is install our Ubuntu. So I already downloaded the Ubuntu ISO and 64-bit uh, one and burned it into a CD one. Okay, it's like a homemade thing. And I'll put it in the drive already. And I'll install my, my Ubuntu. Now that the CD room is in the drive, I'll just have to reboot the computer and use refit to load my CD. And then we see here on the refit screen that there's like a million options, but I want to go to my Linux CD. So I will, I will cut from here because have you have to wait just a little until those until the files are actually loaded from the CD-ROM.